Have you ever been in the situation where you finally finished making your scene in Blender, but when you did the finishing render, a background or a major object in the scene didn't appear in it, but it appeared in all of the viewports, or maybe it didn't appear in any of the viewports, or not in some of it, but at the same time, you didn't delete your object? Well, today, I will show you guys three ways on how to fix these problems. We'll first go over the troubleshoot if an object is not visible in any viewports and the final render. Then we'll cover the troubleshoot of an object that it isn't visible in the preview render or the final render, but is still visible in all other viewports. Then finally, we'll cover the troubleshoot of an object being completely visible in all viewports and the preview render viewport, but it won't appear in the final render. Without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Alright, so for the first troubleshooting fix thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, let's say maybe you were uh, playing around, you know, editing, extruding, whatever, with uh, your meshes and objects, and then all of a sudden it just disappears. And uh, you don't know what you did, you didn't click the delete button or anything, and uh, it doesn't even show up on the uh, previewed render, nor does it show up on the final render viewport. So what's up with that? Uh, this is because you may have accidentally hit it. Uh, now, what, how you hit it is basically uh, you were um, editing it or whatever, just moving it around, and you might have accidentally clicked uh, one of the letters on your keyboard. So, uh, if I were to click on this diamond, uh, the, the key to uh, hide objects is H, you know, H for hide. Once I click that, your object disappears, so, and now it's like not there anymore, it's just completely hidden. So uh, in order to fix this, uh, in case you did accidentally do this, uh, very simple, just click Alt and then the H button. So Alt H and then all the objects you hid will reappear. So now I have my sphere back and now I have my diamond back. Uh, now obviously this works with just any object, you know, you can hide everything and then Alt H everything to bring it all back. So let's say you're in your camera viewport, all of your um, objects and materials are in place, are in the scene, but once you, let's say, go to the view, the preview rendered viewport, or you know, just the, just finish off the render by doing the final render, uh, your object's not there, but uh, you know it's actually there, because you see the shadow, you see the gloss reflect reflecting it, uh, you see all the shadows, you see everything else, but it's like it's invisible to the camera, it's invisible to the rendered viewport, because even if I go out of camera, it's technically still invisible uh, to that. So um, what's up with that? So uh, maybe you might have accidentally hit it, so why don't we try to click Alt-H? Nope, nothing reappears again. So how do I fix this or how do you fix this? Basically what this is is the object is completely invisible to your preview and your final render and also to the camera as well but you can see it and it's still there in all of your other viewports. Now in order to fix this let's go to the object tab over here we'll scroll all the way down and then we'll see cycle settings. We can click that and then we have all these options camera diffuse, glossy, transmission, volume scatter, shadow these are the ray visibilities, and so basically what this is, is if I turn off maybe uh, the object, if I turn off diffuse, uh, the shadow will kind of disappear and now will just be sort of the reflection from the gloss. If I were to turn off the gloss, it will completely disappear. If I were to turn back the diffuse, the shadow will still be there, and you know, all of that. So, um, obviously, uh, I'm not quite sure how you would do this on accident, because you'd have to open up a tab and click this, but in case you don't know, uh, maybe if you're messing around with one of these, uh, it's because it's invisible to the camera, so, you know, obviously I shouldn't have to explain it, but just click the camera, and then there you go. It'll appear back in the preview rendered, and in the final render. Alright, for the last one, is actually the one that really could confuse everyone, even, like, artists themselves. And, uh, this is actually kind of easy to do on accident, just, like, accidentally clicking the H button. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, this is a final render of the scene that I made. Uh, the shadows and all that are still there, but the object has completely disappeared. But as you can see, it still appears in the preview rendered viewport, and it still appears in the solid rendered viewport, even outside the camera on both of the type of viewports. So, what's up with that? It won't appear in the final render, but it'll appear in all the other viewports. Uh, so maybe let's just click Alt H, and nothing is hidden, everything's still there. Why don't we check the object section? We'll go all the way down, open up the cycle setting again, and it's still, it's, it's still there. Uh, the camera is activated, so obviously it's visible to the camera. So if I were to 
uncheck it and check it. It's still there, but it's not visible in the final render. So, um, how you fix this is basically you've accidentally unchecked something that's in this area. So maybe you started a new project. It might be a little uh, squishy over here. Just drag it out. And uh, yeah, just uh, open this up and you might have accidentally unchecked the object to not appear in the final render. Um, and the way how to fix this is, as you can see, if we go to over here, we have uh, rendered layers world and we have all of the different type of meshes and the items in the scene. We have the camera itself, we have um, the different type of objects we have, even the, the sun as well. And as you can see to the right, we have all of these. Uh, we have cursor, we have the uh, eye, uh, <laughs> I I'm not too sure the name of these, what is this, I don't know. And then we have these icons, the icon, mouse icon, and then we have the camera icon. So, uh, this probably means you might have accidentally had it unchecked. Um, so all you gotta do is, if the camera icon is not completely colored in, it's kind of overlaid and disappearing, uh, but all of the other ones are here, what you gotta do is just click it and it'll turn back on. And if you click it again, it'll turn off and it'll turn back on. What this does is, it turns it off completely from showing up through the camera's final render uh, view. So, if I were to re-render this again with this on, uh, it would show up. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys didn't find this tutorial or this uh, troubleshooting video very useful. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Joshua Autumn and I create uh, videos, tutorials for beginners showing them the basics and secrets of using the Blender interface as a beginner as well as teaching you guys a little bit of some archivist tutorials. So, thank you all so much for watching. Stay golden and... Golden. Okay, that, that makes sense. Stay golden and get a bon bon.